Hey, this is Tony Ross, and I wanted to show you a quick tutorial here in Toon Boom Animate. One of my favorite styles to draw in, as well as uh, animate with, is that whole thing of, I'm going to show you real quick here, we have this hand that's drawn out, but not all these lines are connected. Basically, if you look here, we have these large gaps but we still have a nice feel going on. And to me, it just gives that really nice old school feel to it, like an old comic strip or something. So I want to show you how to do that. Okay, let's go ahead to Toon Boom here. And I have my drawing set up here. Uh, I've got frame one and frame two of the hand. So what I want to do is let's go ahead and zoom in here. All right, now, what I'm looking at is we've got all these large spaces here. I haven't even connected anything and flattened this at all. These are all these separate little drawings, but none of that's really gonna matter here. Okay, grab our paint bucket. Um, got the nice color I wanna use for the fill. And I'm going to first attempt to try to fill in here and it's not seeming to work and you might be thinking okay well what if we said we'll close large gaps that'll work right uh, that's a pretty large gap and what about small gaps okay so none of that's working let me show you exactly what I do for this technique I'm gonna go under paint and I'm gonna to go to stroke now what stroke is allow, going to allow me to do is draw this out a little more freely and give some curve to it. So let's zoom in. All right, so what I'm gonna do for this finger here is just kind of draw out where the rest of that would be. Now, you're gonna get a message. It says you've added a stroke to the drawing, but it will not be visible unless you activate the show strokes in the view menu, okay? I like keeping this there just to remind me. So you can check this off and have it not pop back up. But we just drew a stroke, we don't see it. The quick key to actually see that is simply press the letter K. Okay, so now we see where all those lines are and the invisible line we just drew. Okay, so I'm gonna draw another one to close that off and one here to close that off. Okay, now let's go up to the top and let's draw the last one to close this section off. Now, if you notice, I've got that little, it's a little indicator there that I haven't quite drawn that correctly. There's something that's still going to be off the edge. I'm going to undo this last one. Command Z, Control Z on PC. All right. Do this one more time. Let's go from this direction. Okay, that's better. All right, so now we have all those little things drawn into place. And now we can go back to our paint bucket. And if I just click once, we have our fill. And to see what this looks like without those lines showing, press the letter K again. And there you have it. So this is what it looks like before. And that's what it looks like after. And we got these nice, beautiful curved lines here and everything's closed off. So I hope this has been helpful. This has been Tony Ross for Tony Teach and have a good one.